Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined in studio by B.O.B., Bobby Ray. What's going on, man? What's up? The new album, Psychedelic Thoughts. Be on the lookout for that. Do you know how the show works? I've seen it. I uh, saw MGK's. You saw Machine Gun Kelly's. A little so bit of know. Tony Yeo's. A little bit of Tony yeah. Yeo's. So you know how it goes. We have 10 questions, 10 wings. As we move along in the interview, the wings get hotter, the sauces get hotter, the questions get hotter. Ooh. So hot, in fact, <laughs> that you might just have to throw in the towel. <laughs> you say the safe word, Bobby. Shit. Bobby! And then that means that you can stop Bats. and just go right to the last question. But there's a catch. What's that? If you make it all the way through, we give you 30 uninterrupted seconds to plug away. If you don't make it through, I'm going to take half of your plug. You ready, man? I'm ready. All right, B.O.B., here are your hot ones. So this first one, Texas Pete's, just basically, in it's every, a layup. In every American home. Yeah, you're not fair. You're going to find some Texas Pete. He's lying, he's lying. <laughs> so I was watching some of the vlogs that you've been putting out. So for me, this album is a lot about reintroducing people to, to who Bob is and who B.O.B. is. And I noticed that you shoot him yourself with that point of, view, point of view thing. Are you one of those fucking guys that is just Snapchatting all the time? One of those people you can't even have a conversation with because they're just firing off their phone nonstop? No, that is not me, but I'll tell you who is. Who is? My manager, B. Rich. He's just Snapchatting? He Snapchats himself Snapchatting you, Snapchatting something else. Like Snapchat he, Inception. He's, he, he can't even talk to him because he's Snapchatting. You have to Snapchat him to talk to him. All right, Cholula hot sauce. Cholula to me doesn't count as hot sauce, I mean. This is like no big this deal. This is like, they call it hot sauce, but it's not. Yeah, it's, it's garden variety stuff, no big deal. I can't have you on without talking about Eggplant Friday. Basically, yeah. it was this thing where people would put a Mayfair filter on the bulge in their sweatpants, <laughs> put it up on Instagram, and then that was like your Eggplant Friday. Now see, mine, there was no filter involved. Just a, just a hashtag no filter bulge pick. <laughs> it was just a, you know, up, uh, I was in the kitchen checking my phone and somebody happened to snap a pic and I was like, man, this, this is a nice picture. I think we should post this. It's a flattering one. And the lead image on basically every media outlet that covered it was your Eggplant Friday picture. Yeah. I wonder, on some level, were you a little bit proud of that? Because I think I would be. Definitely. I mean, to, to start a trend that got banned, you know, people took it and ran with it. And, you know, uh, the hashtag just became, uh, <laughs> just became corrupt. Yeah, it, it got out of control. <laughs> it, was, it turned into porn. All right, so Man, this next one is El Yucateco, Caribbean, Habanero. Another one that's like, you know, right now we're just shooting free throws. Nothing crazy. I guess. I mean, it depends on who's taking the shots. Per your request, we went with wingless for you. Or wingless, boneless, boneless, boneless for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going classic wings. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice. At first I was like, maybe that's like a performance enhancer. Like maybe that's unfair that he's boneless, but I think I have to eat more it's gonna wings. work against you. Yeah, ultimately. It's gonna work against me, why? Cause you just gotta, you gotta eat more wing that way. And like your bite, my bite is gonna be half hot sauce, half white meat. Your bite is gonna be three quarters hot sauce, one quarter white meat. You know what I'm saying? Shout's play. Is your girlfriend Seven Streeter, is she featured on the new album? She is. All right, so you know a lot of people think that Jay mailed in his verse on Drunken Love. And it made me think about when you collaborate with someone who you're seeing, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say Seven gets in the booth for mm -hmm. a track that's gonna be on your album. Mm -hmm. And let's say it's a little meh. Do you talk to her about it? Do you talk to her in a way that's different than maybe you would in another artist? Do you let it slide? No, we don't, no yes manism going on at all. Nobody's a yes man. If it's, if it, you know, because like we're we're both professional, like we both take what we do very seriously. So if <laughs> if I'm doing something man, it's not good, I'm just gonna be like, uh. <laughs> is she gonna let you know? Oh yeah, she's, she's gonna be like, she's, she's, she's gonna know that she's gonna do it like this. There's a talk back. She's gonna say while I'm in the booth <clears throat> after I do my take. She's gonna say, uh, let's try to cut that again, make that better. <laughs> 
So this one is the Lottie's hot pepper sauce. Lottie, Lottie. Got we like a little bit body. of, uh, yep, exactly. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. You know, so far these have been pretty tame. You know, all sauce but no hot. You're not the first person to walk in here and be like, you know what, this is kind of... Eh. But by the end, everyone's chugging water and milk, man. Watch. Sure. I noticed that you like to cook. Yeah. If you were in a cook-off with Action Bronson, Raekwon the chef, do you think you'd have a shot of Winnie? Man, I've seen Action Bronson do some... cook up some pretty crazy stuff. He does some next level stuff? He does some... He's gone to heights that I have not yet gone before as a chef. In my chefism. So, I don't know, man. It might, be, he might, he might take the. I'll come second place. All right. So this next one is paint is good Louisiana style. It's really kind of the last of these gimmies. This one. Hey, has man. Like I don't a need a disclaimer. A I don't need a disclaimer. I just, you know, just show me where the ring is, man. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying. Your career is kind of interesting in that you've probably been to like every music award show. Which one has the best after parties? I'm definitely going to say the EMAs. Absolutely. Is that the European? Yes. What is it about those parties that <clears throat> separates them? I got the most shit-faced I ever got in my life. And this is when I met Chris Rock. You know, Kid Rock, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the spice is fucking with my head. All right, so kid, met Kid Rock, not Chris Rock. <laughs> met Kid Rock. <laughs> so I meet... Kid Rock at a bar, you know, we have a couple of drinks. And um, so it, he, he had a, uh, another after party, like an after after party um, in his penthouse. So we sitting around talking and, um, you know, uh, I was telling him a little bit about my music, what I do. And, you know, he, he had heard anyway and, and got win. So um, I told him I played guitar and he was like, you don't play guitar, what are you talking about? Yeah, he's <laughs> so, like probably like, oh, you yeah, play yeah. guitar, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, man, Hell yeah, you know, I was at this point I was already like kind of shit faced. So I was like, man, hell yeah, I play the guitar. So get a guitar. So so Kid Rock go, somebody get a guitar. So a couple couple moments pass by, someone brings a guitar in. And so I play Letters from Vietnam, the song I was writing, but it wasn't out yet. Um, I play Letters from Vietnam, then he looks like touche. <laughs> so then he grabs the guitar and shows me up and starts playing the fucking guitar with a Jim Bean bottle. And fucking just starts a riffing. Full blown guitar <laughs> off with Kid Rock. The Kid Rock knows how to fucking party. I don't doubt that for I've one second. I've never seen nobody party hard. It's crazy. So <laughs> now we're at Pain 100% Hot Sauce. All right. And this is where the game changes. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. All right. Gunplay 2.0 over here. Poker face. It's pretty cool. To say I'm impressed would be an understatement. Holy fuck. He'll be over here. I like spicy food, so. So. It's like it goes outside of your mouth and, and curls back around onto your face. And here's the and then other your thing mouth too. becomes, your whole face becomes spicy. And it follows you around. It's like a scary movie, too. You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna escape it. It's gonna just be, it follows. <laughs> Hey, you know what else you like? Smoking weed. <laughs> and you know what I wonder? What's your what's your go-to snack? Well, see, when I get high, I'm not trying to cook. Same. But I will. I'm the gas station guy. What's your? Are you a chips guy? Or are you a candy guy? Both. I'm not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be. No. You're on a diet. No. I've seen you. You're you're working out hard, and you're doing like the overhead press, and you're doing cardio and shit. Yeah, man. Like, <sighs> whoa. I like work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the trot, no joke on the tricep strength there. <laughs> We're up to, what are we, seven? Which is Blair's original death sauce. She's a spicy one. You shared studio space with Iggy Azalea when she was like fresh off the plane from Australia, right? I wonder, do you think that the things that are said about her are unfair. Do you think that she's unfairly targeted in any way, or? Iggy's, Iggy's always been a tough cookie. I mean, she's always been like a real honest person. Like when you meet her, 
one of the things that stands out about her is the fact that she's so vocal. Like, she doesn't have a filter, so she speaks her mind. So, you know, no matter what anybody goes through, man, ultimately, you're in control. Like, you can, you can overcome anything. Whatever type of obstacle somebody or people may want you to, they want you to believe what they want you to believe, you know what I mean? It's right. like it's like they say, ha ha, look at you, ha ha, look at you, ha ha, look at you, to the point you believe it. But it's like anybody can overcome, you know, the 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 odds they're faced with. Uh, you uh, you cruising, cruising. Yeah, man. I mean, number eight. It got so, I, it got a little shaky. I had to just reel really it back in. So this man. one's about twice as hot as the one we just had. Uh, okay. This is Dave's temporary insanity hot sauce. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, you know, the strip club scene plays such an integral role in the music that comes out of Atlanta. You know, a lot of records break in those spots. Less talked about, but just as important, is the role that strip clubs in Atlanta play in the culinary scene there, <clears throat> particularly with the wings. And I'm wondering, which Atlanta strip club has the best food? Everybody in Atlanta knows that Cheetahs has the best food. Their kitchen, like, won awards and shit. Yeah. And they got, you know, white linen, you know, and the seats are like, you know, real sturdy leather seats. It's like a real, you know, except it's a strip club. Real restaurant, except naked women all Except around. titties. Ugh. All right, so once again with Dave's. Man, where's this... the hot sauce at, man? I'm getting bored, man. <laughs> once again, we're with Dave's, but we lose the temporary part of the title. This is Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce. 36 times hotter than a jalapeno. Fuck. I feel like for some reason shit's about to get real, real right now. I know it's coming. Wow. When it hits you, it's like... It's like getting maced. It's like you go numb for a quick second and then it's like... But not in a good way. Not in a good way. The thing about it, too, is you think you're in the clear. That's what gets you. Ah, fuck. And then... It really opens those glands up. What's the best advice you've ever received from T.I.? Um, everybody's not wrong. It's a reflection of yourself. You know what I mean? Like if everybody says something and, and, and you're seeing it. If you're seeing something, a constant denominator in several situations, like it's not the outside world that is doing you wrong. It's you internally, personally. Like... You know what I mean? You can look at it that way, too. So we have a little tradition at Hot Ones where we dab up the last oh, sauce. Oh, shit. When, how long has this tradition been going? Like, today? It actually started with your boy, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. I can't even remember. I think he might have suggested it, actually. But basically, you just got to... And There's a lot at stake on this pour because it'll, it'll sneak up on you. So are you going to be one of those dabbers? Or are you going to, like... What you gonna Am I going to soak it? You fuck with like, uh, like I, I see you mostly smoke blunts, but do you ever fuck with like edibles or dabs? You ever do any of that shit? I have seasonal asthma. In the springtime, I can't smoke wax. I can't. Like it just fuck. It just fucks me up. Just a touch. There you go. Perfect. Perfect pour. So this is Mad Dog 357 Hot Sauce, the king of the mountain, 71.4 <laughs> times hotter than a jalapeno. The Shit. test of manhood. Are you ready, man? Yes. Your voice trembling a little bit, man. Because I know what to expect, and I know oh, it fucking sucks. Shit. All right, ready? Why are you eating so fast? Am I supposed to be eating this fast? For some reason, I think it like gets over quicker, but... Somebody talk to me. Am I supposed to be eating this fast or not? You're doing good. So, it's kind of tasty. <clears throat> and then it... <clears throat> Bro, you're about... You're like... You're like matching your hat. Yeah, happens every episode. <laughs> Watching you is helping me take my mind off the spice. Nothing? You got a fresh puddle though, still. It's a facade, I don't even believe you. It's a bitch, ain't it? <laughs> uh oh. I got on my lip now. I'm not fucked. Fuck it, Mmm, mmm. Ah. <laughs> so, the new album, Psychedelic Thoughts. You got Bob Wood coming up. Bob Wood Fest. 
Woo! I'm seeing you with the custom guitar and the bandana wrap. What's going on with the Jimi Hendrix thing? Or did you just ah. get into some strong acid or something? Ah, it's a little bit of both. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I've never done acid. Really? I, I didn't mean to ask it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is like actually dangerous. Like, we've never consulted a doctor about it or anything. If gum start to bleed, consult physician. <laughs> it is kind of re we, we kind of referenced a Jimi Hendrix album cover. It was really supposed to be a painting just for me to have. So fast forward a year later, I start recording. Um, Psychedelic Thoughts, um, Back and Forth is like the lead single. I'm like, man, I want to make a body of work for this song, Back and Forth. And you know, I was recording my album, and so I was like, well, shit, it might be, it'll be dope to you know just put out a project for all my fans. If you're not a if you're not a day one Bob fan and you don't understand what people say when they say they want Bobby Ray, this is what they're talking about. So there we go. Yeah. And congratulations, you made it all the way through. Killed those wings. Bow. How was it? Was it was bow. it worse bow. than you expected bow. it? Bow. Was it better? Bow. 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 Like, bow. you beat the fuck out of those sauces, man. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. Anyway. You beat the fuck out of these sauces. But you really did. There's no other way to describe it. I fucking own you. You did. I own all of you. You can take them home if you want. I own you, Chalula. And then the floor is yours. Congratulations on making it through. 30 Thank seconds. Thank you. I respect it. I respect what you came with. <laughs> 30 now, seconds, do I the floor is yours, that camera Love right there, you. 30 seconds, bam, what's up y'all, this B.O.B., Bobby Ray Bands, make sure y'all go pick up my new album, Psychedelic Thoughts, on iTunes, stream it, wherever you can find it, SoundCloud, Spotify, my name is Bob, I approve this message, I'm gone, bam. Oh shit. <laughs> PJK, my whole look, my whole look. Everybody come to finger licking Miami Gardens. I'm still not used to it being legal here. I feel sketchy. <laughs> it was like fuck green. It reminds me of some Christmas shit. Like hey, people say blood guys have big dicks. Is that true? Yes, that's the.